Hi, welcome to TeachStar, and today we're going to be looking at the perception of fairness. Now, this is part of our quick tips video, which just give you a brief summary of an idea or something you can try in your teaching straight away. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe any time. Okay, so today's uh, topic, uh, today's idea really is, uh, it's, it's kind of abstract, it's kind of a, a frame of mind. And it's one that I think it's critical that teachers kind of get into. It's the difference between fairness and being perceived to be fair. And the two are not the same. And teachers think they are, especially um, teachers with behavioural issues in their classes. And the reason I say that is if you have two students and they both do the same thing, they should get the same punishment. Not always. Not always. And this is quite controversial and, and you might straight away go, no, they absolutely should. I would argue that it is more important to you as a teacher that you are perceived to be fair. And what I mean by that is if you were sitting in the classroom as a student, and this is something you should always do, is you should always pretend you're the student looking at you teaching. And some teachers have um, cameras set up in their classrooms so that they can observe you know, a lesson that they have and then they can play it back and it's, it's always really awkward, um, but it's really useful. You should be asking the question, am I being perceived to be fair? Do students think that I'm being fair with the action I'm taking? And depending on the context, not necessarily the behaviour, but depending on the context, you might fall afoul of that. Now, I'm going to give a, a bit of an example here. Um, some schools have, uh, in fact, every school I've heard of has a behaviour system. And there is always um, a, like a process of giving a warning first or three warnings or five warnings I've heard. And then there's a consequence, etc. And sometimes um, schools do it as a like a informal warning and then a formal verbal warning. And you say, I am doing a formal verbal warning, etc, etc. So there's always a process there. Now... Will you be perceived to be fair if you absolutely rigidly follow that system for every student? I would argue not. I would argue that you're perceived to be a robot. And you might think, oh, that's the personification, maybe that's an awkward phrase, but personification of fairness is Robocop, etc, <laughs> etc. Et okay, but that's not the reality and that's not how students view it. That is not to say you don't follow the school systems, absolutely you do. But you've got to think carefully about what you are perceived to be. Are you being perceived to be fair? And every single teacher I have seen that has rigidly followed rules in that way and hasn't kind of thought about how they're viewed, uh, like their fairness is viewed, um, ends up being the Robocop, bop, 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 and fails almost every time and something when I was training I realized was that the more experienced teachers who who didn't have behavior issues because like like most people I had behavior issues when I was I was training and in my NQT year the ones who didn't have behavior issues didn't follow that system in the same way as I did and as soon as I adapted that does not mean don't follow the system it absolutely doesn't mean that but as soon as I adapted and it's everything, and I'd love to go through everything in this video about how I adapted, but that's not what these videos are for. But as soon as I sat down, I thought, right, how am I being viewed here? Am I being viewed as a fair teacher, or am I being viewed as kind of a robocop, completely like out of line? Um, the second kind of part of that, and it's the same thing, is that if everyone else in the school is following the rules in a different way to you and you're being stricter and zero tolerance and everything but no one else is or, or all of the teachers they respect aren't don't fight that go for that go and observe people who do the norm in that school and then do the same and again i'll probably get you know people messaging me you know i'm the head of a school and everyone in my school should be doing the same thing uh, then target them, you know, and they never, like, in my experience, they very rarely do. Um, so find out what is viewed as fair in your school. Find out, uh, go and observe the, the teachers who aren't having issues with behaviour 
with difficult classes, go and find out when a known difficult class is uh, being taught by them and go and observe it and see what happens. And you will realize that your Robocop approach of I'm going to follow the rules because that's what the te the schools tell you to do. They go, you follow the rule, you, you have to make sure they get their warning then straight out or whatever it is in the, in the school. Go and observe that really good, amazing um, member of staff who has very little poor, a very little behavior management issues or anything else and see them with a difficult class and you will be shocked at kind of the difference in the way they approach it and the way you approach it. And I think that schools could do more to explain to you that the zero tolerance approach isn't the only answer, that you need to be working your own system within that. And that doesn't mean a completely different system of stickers or anything else. It just means that that when you get to that point of a warning or when you get to that point of having to send them out of the class or whatever it is, is going to be different and, and it's up to you to understand that. So above all else, and I'd, I'd love to go into more details on this, but these videos need to be short. Um, above all else, you must view the perception of fairness, not fairness itself. You must look at what you're being perceived as fairness. And there are so many situations where I'm observing a member of staff and technically by the letter of the law, they needed to do what they did, but I knew that they would be seen as unfair. Um, and, you know, situations where someone's riled someone up to a point when they've shouted at them and I've been like, well, technically they shouldn't shout at them, blah, blah, blah. But there's a different way of approaching that rather than Robocop go through the rules. A bit of a difficult one today because I'm basically trying not to say don't follow the rules because that absolutely will not help you at all. But trying to show you the nuances of, you know, that, that schools don't share because it's so difficult to explain. And it's kind of like when you teach enough, you get it. But until you've kind of learnt that lesson, um, you don't quite get it anyway. If you've got comments, which I'm sure you do, please write them in the comments below. If you've liked this video and found it useful, um, please click like. And if you want to see more quick tips from us, please click subscribe. Thank you very much. Oh, before you go, you can subscribe to us here. And this is our previous video. And this is another video from us. We release videos every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday at five o'clock. Thank you very much.